People often ask about using a blaster to take off patching materials like this. As you can see, the blaster has blasted the concrete pretty well, but where the patching material is a little more bonded, a little more thick, the shot blaster can only take away the superficial layer and then leave what's behind and what's still stuck to the concrete. So the challenge would be when we bring the blaster through again and go slower, this concrete here will get blasted again. And then this material will be removed. So what will happen is this area where there's still material, it'll actually be an elevation inequality from the area that surrounds it. And the reason being is simply because this has been blasted twice and this has been blasted once. That's where a blaster kind of struggles with any superficial materials on top, like a patching compound or adhesive, where a grinder is going to excel because it'll just come through and shear it right off. So in this case, it's a small enough area we can get through it, but on a job like this, if it was a bigger space, it may actually have made more sense to grind it first before blasting it. 